Hey everybody, we are here at Saltgrass Steakhouse and this is where it all began. And I don't mean that this is the first saltgrass, but it is the first saltgrass we ever ate at. You've seen two reviews from us from Saltgrass Steakhouse uh, at both locations in Orlando, Florida. But the reason we ever went to those to start with is because in 2017 when we were in Arlington, Texas, we went to the one you see behind you. This is our first saltgrass ever. We are back and we loved it we fell in love with the place then and we're, we're hoping it's still just as good now as it was then now uh, one thing we're a little disappointed about is when we came here before she got a prime rib and i tried some of them. that was the best prime rib to date i've ever had in my life uh it was it had a good smoked grilled flavor to it uh you i've never had a better prime rib before or since it's not on the menu now so we're going to ask them if they still have it and why not but uh they do have good steaks here anyway, but so we're gonna go in here, the Saltgrass Steakhouse in Arlington, Texas, and uh, we're hoping it's just as good as it was the first time, so stay tuned. All right, getting ready to go in, and this it says this is the original Texas Steakhouse. Somebody just had a little problem with fire ants while we were doing the intro. She took off running afterwards and uh, jerked her shoes and socks off. Uh, sorry that happened, I didn't realize it. But. All right, so as you walk in, it's very nice in here. Welcome to Arlington. Here's the inside of the salt grass, and uh, although the ones in Florida do have somewhat of a western theme, this one really does. Uh, so we're in a booth right here now. The last time we sat there, it was two booths down. That's where we sat. I wasn't sure which one it was, but she remembered. So looking forward to eating here again. Always wanted to come back here. Here is the menu for this one. I don't know how much it actually differs from the ones in Orlando. Probably most things are very similar, but I'm gonna go over it anyway. There's your appetizers. Soup, salad, and sandwiches and favorites down here. We've got ribs. I don't think I've ever tried ribs at a salt grass, as far as I remember. I got that chicken last time. Yeah, are you going to do that I'm again? Not, no, You're not, in Texas. You can't no, get chicken said, in Texas. Well, it told me on it last time was a picture, and I didn't see a picture of it. Uh, there's the steaks, and what is conspicuously missing is the prime rib. Also, if you like a little kick to it, you got a Cajun rib eye here. And again, I do apologize for the glare. Let me see if I can. Do you need to put the flash on? Huh? Well, that's just the glare from the light above. Here's seafood. Here's your sides down here. And if you're here for lunch, which we are, but I'm not getting anything off this, uh, here's your lunch and early dining menu. Down here, you got the saltgrass legend. It tells about how saltgrass came about. And it did say on the outside, this is the original Texas Steakhouse. I'll hold that there just for a minute. And you can read that or pause your TV if you want to see it. All right, they brought out the bread here. And um, they brought out unsweetened tea to start with. And... Um, she said she thought it was sweet, but they brought out another round, and this is actually sweet tea. So I told her we would use some of the sweeteners over here, but she said, no, just let me go get some. I didn't know if maybe they didn't sweeten tea as much out here. I would have thought Texas would have sweet tea like we did, and apparently they do. So anyway, uh, what did you get? Um, I got the Pat's Ribbon, the 12 ounce, uh, the smoked macaroni and cheese and salad. Oh yeah, that, they did have some good smoked macaroni and cheese, but I think Longhorn uh, upped them on that. Theirs was really good, yeah. yeah. And I got the uh, Texas ribeye, which I think was 17 ounce, if I'm not mistaken. So, we got our hopes up a little bit. Here, you can hold it now and just don't hit anything. Uh, 
we got our hopes up on the prime ribs. We did ask. And even though it's not on the menu, she goes, oh, yeah, we have it on weekends. I said, well, this is Friday. She says, yeah, but not until a certain time. So we were actually going to leave and come back, pay for our drinks now and just come back later. Because uh, that prime rib is something that they did right, and we didn't want to pass it up. And then she said, let me go ask my manager. The manager said, no, it's off the menu altogether. They didn't have enough people ordering it, believe it or not. I, that, that's I can't really, believe. really hard for me to believe. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't. I can't even imagine coming here and not ordering that prime rib. I got the rib off state when we were here before, and I remember trying some of your prime rib, and that was absolutely, I said, if I ever get back here, I'm going to get it. It and was really the good. Saltgrass did away with their best menu items. So, um, I, don't, I don't know why. I don't know why anybody wouldn't have ordered that, but we sure would have. Yeah, we would have. <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is. So. Chandeliers there. All right, so here's our salad, just a basic salad. I got blue cheese dressing. They didn't have Italian, and you got, I'm sure, honey ranch. Mustard. Oh, honey mustard. Okay. Okay. Here is your what is it? Twelve ounce ribeye. Twelve ounce ribeye. And, and smoked macaroni and cheese. Okay. And here's my 10 ounce T-bone, which looks really good. They put butter on it. That looks good. I didn't ask for butter, but that's okay. The potato looks good. Okay, Shaughnessy is going to sample the steak. Anything with butter on it is going to be even better. That's amazing. Amazing? Better than the ones in Orlando? I kind of thought this one was. My life. I've only I had one so. experience here, mm -hmm. so... I'm just basing it on that, of course. Mm -hmm. All right, so, this is the 17 ounce T-bone, cooked medium. Uh, Good. Outstanding. 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 Yeah. Good as I remember last time. Good. Here is our receipt, our two cheese, Derek's T-bone, $32.99, my 12-ounce ribeye, $28.49. Did a quick video of the kitchen area. Texas cooking going on here. So, we finished our meal. We paid our bill. We're going to step outside now. All right, just finished up here at Saltgrass in Arlington, Texas. Again, our very first Saltgrass ever. So uh, the reason you've seen those other videos is because of our uh, visit here in 2017. So, Shaughnessy, start off. So I got the 12-ounce um, um, Pat's ribeye. Um, it was cooked to perfection. I wanted it medium. It was medium. Um, it was seasoned very well. It was very tender. Um, I liked that they put a little pat of butter on it like that. That was really good. My smoked macaroni and cheese was very cheesy, had a good flavor. Um, as I was eating the macaroni and cheese, I kind of like dipped it on top of the steak to kind of give it a smoky, meaty fla flavor to it. It was really good. Bread was good. I had a good meal. It was, I enjoyed it. So you'd come back again? Yes. All right. We're right next to the interstate in case you can't hear all those cars. We're, interstate 30 is literally a stone's throw from here. So, um, yeah, I got the Texas T-Bone. I don't remember if I got that or the ribeye last time. The more I think about it, I think I may have gotten the T-Bone. I actually think I like the T-Bone here better than I like the ribeye at the ones in Orlando. Uh, and that, believe me, those are good too, really good. But um, that T-Bone today was really, really flavorful. Uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, definitely glad I came, glad I got that. I would have gotten the prime rib if we could have. Uh, very disappointed that that's off the menu again. This place had the best prime rib. We've never had one quite be able to, to uh, match up with it. And um, it's, it's sad that they would take that off. They said not enough people ordered it. I can't, I can't figure that out. But anyway, the steak was really good. Uh, great experience. Glad to be back here again. Didn't know if we'd ever be back in this location again, but we are. And glad we got to do it again. So uh, really enjoyed it overall. I would definitely recommend it if you're in the Arlington area. Uh, it's just across the interstate from where we're staying, literally about a mile. So didn't have far to go. So uh, glad we came. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And find us on Facebook. And have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.